like a pee movie. Oh, I did. <laughs> Isn't there like a pee movie that's like a like no, no, two it's years like long? Every pee movie, but every no, time there's a, there's a green frame. <laughs> it's seven trillion octillions long. Whoa! <laughs> so right. Get the whole three handshakes. There you go. I, I Good morning, everybody. Today is Monday. I just got over another sickness, but I'm good and I'm back. I also got these doof hats. $10, let me know. These are pretty amazing. Today, I got a really interesting thing planned, something that I don't think anyone would ever expect me to do. Or no, actually, this is something people would expect me to do, but this isn't something that they would even think of. If they think of it, they'd expect me to do it, but they wouldn't think of it. I was gonna continue explaining what this thing is, but I really gotta show this really fast. This mosquito got in my car and thought, oh look, I'ma just chill in Anders' car, I'ma fly Nah, fuck that. You don't fuck with me, bruh. You get in my car, this is my territory. I'ma fuck your ass up. Look at this mosquito. Look at that, look at that mistake. To get in my car and just buzz around and think, hey, you know what, I'ma just stab Ander a couple times. I'ma physically harm Ander in his own car. The fuck? Anyways, back to the story. The project thing that I'm doing is for my sociology class. She's actually in it, so she has to do it too. But basically you have two options to do two different very embarrassing things that break Either social norms. Yes, or... This is for the kids. <laughs> I don't understand. I'm sorry, kids. You have to do two things that break social norms. You choose which one to do. For me, D O O F. It's food backwards. Alright, well, you can stop my left nut. Because I like to keep my right. Uh, so, uh, Alright, why that? So, um, what I was saying. The first social norm that we can break is going in an elevator and instead of turning around and facing the way that everyone faces, it's facing other people and just riding the elevator with a bunch of people there. The second social norm that I can break is going to a restaurant and eating food with just my hands. I decided that I wanted to do that one. I think that would be so much funnier and that's where I am right now. I'm at Main Street, so I have the option of all of these places to choose from to eat a meal with only my hands. This is a project for my sociology class, so I'm meeting up with a partner that I was assigned to do this project with. She's also doing it. She has to do it at a different restaurant from me and she also has to eat with her hands. There are two rules, one, you have to act as if you do this all the time and this is nothing out of the ordinary. Two, you have to eat food that you would never eat with your fingers. For example, a salad, pasta, steak, not ribs. Ribs you would normally eat with your fingers. If you eat it with a fork, then you're weird. But I had to eat one of those, so does she. I'm pretty excited. I think Ruby Tuesdays is going to be for sure one of the ones that we do. Now I'm just waiting on her. Been a minute since I broke in the house out. Been a minute since I asked for the price out. Been a minute since you had a minute. Your 50 seconds been timed out. I've been on it for a while now. The mean mugs and the fakes, man. Back then, those stood up on me. Now they in my room with their face up. And they ass up. Trying to get past round. I'm a bougie nigga. I won't fuck up, but I let it back until I pass out. So I hit the ground running. Oh my god. Alright, how's everything? You look nice. <laughs> Thank you. Alright, are you Ruby Tuesdays? Okay, let's It's a push. Yeah, it's a push. <laughs> you come in like Yeah, you, you come in here, <laughs> eat the food like an idiot, and then <laughs> my partner just went. She doesn't want to be recorded because I mean it's a rather embarrassing thing to do. Eat, you know, with your with your hands. But now it's my turn. And rather than going to Ruby Tuesdays. You're doing good, you're doing good. We're going to Ale House. Everybody can see me. Everybody. It's gonna be interesting. Which to choose, which to choose. Duh. Oh, duh. 
Caesar salad. That's what I'm doing. Just got here. They didn't even bring me forks. They didn't bring me a fork or a knife, so they like, they, they knew. Yeah, no, they knew. Did they have photo? I did it, my dog. <laughs> they haven't even brought me a fork. Should I bet young nigga 40 dirty dancing for something? Rip my city. I left Ale House without getting any other food other than the salad to eat because the waitress took forever to actually come to us and ask for anything else. Also, I never got a fork or a napkin or anything, so the service there was just really, really bad. A big deal about this project social experiment thing was that not a lot of people paid much attention. I don't know if it was that we went at a really bad time when there wasn't a lot of people going there or we just didn't go to very popular restaurants, but not many people really paid attention to the fact that I was eating food with my hand. With that being said, I did enjoy doing that. I break social norms every single day I take this camera out and record everything that's happening. This is not something that everyone does. It takes a lot of courage I don't know if courage is the word. It takes a lot of balls to go into public, whip out a camera, and say what you're doing. Whether you think about it or not, every time you do it, people are gonna look at you. It takes a lot of balls to be a Ninja Turtle. It takes a lot of balls to be a hot dog. It takes a lot of balls to do half of the shit I do, but I do it because it's fun. Because I do it so often, breaking a social norm like I did today wasn't that big of a deal. The experiment was pretty interesting nonetheless, and I'm glad I did it.